My name is Harvey Price, Executive and Music Director of Peace Drums USA. I want to share with you information about this very special project which began about four years ago in Wilmington, Delaware, when clergy got together to talk about the conflict in the Middle East. Listen to Dr. Greg Jones from Westminster Presbyterian Church and Rabbi Michael Beals from Congregation Beth Shalom talk about the formation and the future of Peace Drums. First, a little history. Five years ago, almost exactly to this day, a group of local rabbis and Protestant ministers had lunch together at Beth Shalom Congregation. We discussed our concerns about peace and justice for people living in Israel-Palestine. We decided that we should not only continue our conversation with one another, but that we should work together on a peace project in Israel with youth. We agreed this was a worthy goal, but we had no idea what sort of project we might create. Several weeks later, Bob Stoddard talked to Harvey Price and heard Harvey's dream. A steel drum band comprised of Jewish, Christian, and Muslim youth. I was here to close by talking about the future. Now, I don't know what the future is. I'm a rabbi, I'm not a prophet. But this is a sound of what the future could be like. Let me tell you what's going on in Israel right now. Other schools, other schools where Arab children go, where Jewish children go, Muslim, Christian, they've heard about you guys and they want in. They want to be like you. So the you guys that Rabbi Beals is referring to is this wonderful band of young musicians from Israel. They sound great, but why steel drums? Steel drums, or pan as we say, is an instrument that was born out of conflict from Trinidad and Tobago. Listen to my good friends Anisha Dakoto and Selwyn Williams talk about it. In Trinidad and Tobago, this steel pan is considered you know, a communal instrument because it works as a catalyst to bring out that harmony in people. When, when someone comes to a steel band, we're not thinking this is, this is the banker that plays with this band or this is the teacher that plays with this band or this is the Christian that plays with the band. It's, it's Joe who plays the double seconds or Kevin who plays bass or Brielle who plays the tenor. It doesn't go beyond the music. And that's really what music is about. You're not going to think about different aspects of a person other than their musical abilities. And Harvey is doing a wonderful project with the Peace Drums because really it's just an opportunity for young people to express themselves musically. And it doesn't matter what are the other things that may, um, may be a difference between them, but a unifying element is that desire to express yourself through music. Today, the steel band is now happening. We have over about 150 groups. Steel band, to me, in Trinidad, is like that soccer is to Brazil. <laughs> it's like basketball is to America. <laughs> so out of these things, you could really, really curtail a lot of violence. You, you would find a lot of exchanges going between bands. Now you could walk in anybody's Spaniard feel comfortable, feel free, move, moving to and fro, having nice discussions. We're just having a nice rivalry, but in music. Beautiful sentiments for a beautiful instrument. We had the privilege of having steel pan virtuoso Andy Norell come to one of our concerts. He sums up the magic of pan in words and performance. 
this whole art form, this whole, all these instruments were created by teenage kids in Trinidad who had very few opportunities. And they were, they were the poor kids. And most people looked at them as the kind of guys that they didn't want their daughters going out with. Because they were fighting. They were in gangs and they were fighting with each other. And um, they started with garbage cans and paint cans and biscuit tins and, and bottle and spoon. And they beat rhythm. And in 20 years, against all odds, they had created all the voices of a symphony orchestra out of oil barrels and were playing all kinds of music and, and playing all over the world. And they had stopped fighting and just had world-class music competitions instead. We also had the great honor of having multiple Nobel Peace Prize nominee Abuna Shakur come from Israel and address our audience and the students about the need for coexistence in Israel. I have a vision and our visions, we people of the Holy Land, our visions are made to become reality. And what we have witnessed this evening is a vision that became a reality. These children who have performed in front of us, without saying, they want to convey the message to us. Our fathers have failed to make peace. We want to live peace. Bless these young boys and girls. And they remind me that none of them was born Israeli, Jew, or Palestinian, Arab. Uh, they are like me. I even was not born a Christian. Thank God. I was born a babe. <laughs> and they were born babies. Babies carrying the seed of hope. When you look at these young men and women, who can guess who is Jew, who is Palestinian, Arab, Christian, or Muslim? Don't play the game. You will be wrong. You will not know. <laughs> I don't know. And remember that we are, all of us, the children of an Iraqi citizen called Abraham, Unless we do that, we'll not have any hope for the future. But we know that. And we have the, the future. We have the hope. We'll do everything for that. We want the Jew and the Palestinian to be one in their dreams, in their life. One of the cool aspects about this project is that the students are learning about one another's music on this Trinidadian instrument. Listen to the band play this beautiful Jewish melody. Now listen to the band play this famous Arabic melody with the great violinist and Peace Drums board member, Hanakuri.
April 2016 tour was a life-changing experience for everyone involved. Here are some of the sentiments from the students and adults. I am uh, I am very happy to involved the, uh, in this in this program, the peace drum, because I think that uh, youth like me and the others need to need to make a peace, not just the adults and the prime minister, also us. So because because it's a more we are the generation of tomorrow, so. It's great to be here and make a peace. <laughs> Hi, my name is Shir. I'm uh, Rotem's mom. Rotem is a player in the band. And um, Rotem joined this project in order to make music. And uh, I thought she should join this project in order to facilitate the coexistence between Jews, Arabs, uh, Muslim and uh, Christians. Um, so I, I was really glad that she joined this project and I think that the main um, message here is that people are people. Everyone, uh, every child is a child first uh, and not uh, related to the religion or anything else. And you can see it when you look at the children. They are behaving like children and there are no borders between them. And I think this, this should be a model uh, in Israel and in the world for, for the coexistence and then we can bring peace. I'm a teacher of the school, he told me about the program. And I decided that I really want to do what are these And I Okay. The principal of my school asked me to join the project. I didn't know anything about it. I didn't hear about the drums. I didn't hear about the band, steel drums. But I decided to take part of it, with it. What is the problem? I want to learn a lot of friends. I got a lot of During the year, I learned two things. I learned how to play the drums and what uh, what else happened that I met new friends, really new friends. During the journey, I have a lot of fun. I couldn't even dream that it will be so, having so much fun. I hope the, the program will continue. I believe that it really makes us to feel closer to each other. And I hope that we will stay in touch. When did you finish? I finished to learn steel band when I was in the third She started uh, teaching steel band when she was in the sixth grade. It was a lot of fun. حبيتها كان إشي مشوق وغريب لما قالوا لنا إنه إحنا رح نطلع أوكي ترجم عندي. The trip have been so excited and uh, she met a lot of different things from then our country. وحب إنه أتقدم وأكمل بالعزف على steel band. She loved to continue with the steel band. And to see her future, how it will come with that. Uh, this is a very nice instrument. And uh, make her so happy. Uh, okay, that's it. That's it. Thank you. I think it's very good uh, project because um, it's good that kids will know other cultures in Israel. So every time we came here, we met new children, we started making new friends, and they taught us uh, the songs they know, we taught them the songs we know. And after this tour, um, they become to be our very good friends, like family. Well, the first time my mom showed me a video of the steel drums, I just fell in love with the music. And I never really liked playing any other drums, even though I tried, because they either hurt my hands or they were too loud. But these were like perfect. And I just fell in love with the sound. I felt like I was on vacation every time I played them. Even when I joined the project, 
I mainly did this because of peace too. I really, I've always been a part of Jewish Arab communications and I just love people. I just love making new friends that I can trust and be loyal to and have them be loyal to me and just build a new era of friendship between us. Um, I was born in the United States in California, but when I was six and a half, I moved to Israel and that's where I saw, like I started to see all this conflict between Jews and Arabs and I just wanted to be one of the people to make peace between us. Hi, my name is Fadwa. Um, I started the, this project from the start, uh, before three years, and uh, my opinion on this trip is very, very nice and very beautiful. Um, the project has a huge effect on me, uh, three things. Uh, the first thing that uh, it's my first experience with music, and uh, the, the second thing that um, I made uh, friends, new fr friends, and uh, I made peace. Yes, that's it. As a beautiful trip. <laughs> I just want to thank to thank all of you for I think the best ten days ever. It's not my first time traveling with kids to to the states, but I think it turned to be something that I couldn't even thought it could be. You, it's very hard to explain to you what it means to us those 10 days. We, we started to tour as a band, but we, shin, but we finishing our tour as a family. We are, you know, getting together to know each other in, in so different ways. And those, it couldn't happen without this tour. And it's very hard for me to explain but those 10 days, being 24 hours, almost 24 hours a day together, doing concert, doing small talks during, uh, during uh, the time in the bus, uh, rehearsing together, eating together, translate each other together, all those small things became so natural to us, became so, it's end like after 10 days, it's like, I know those people like agent, like, like friends, like family. So what's next for Peace Drums? As the current band continues to rehearse and refine their skills, other Arab and Jewish communities in Israel want to start their own bands. We will continue to raise awareness and funds to make this happen. Mm -hmm.